In previous video, I already showed you on how to backup and restore MySQL database and now I will show you to create a backup and compress it using a compression tool. For this tutorial, we will be using 7-zip. You can actually grab a copy of 7-zip installer under 7-zip.org. It is actually free. Okay. So we just need to install the 7-zip and then once you installed it we will be needing this 7-zip point 7z point dll and 7z point exe so we will just be using our previous project that i use if you don't have a copy you can grab a copy on my website and just check out under the download section okay So first and foremost, we need to add it as a resources, those two files. So existing item, let's just get the path here. <coughs> and all files, 7-zip, add. Okay, don't forget to make it as copy viewer. Okay, so we'll just need to open our backup form. So I already opened it up. So we just need to make a few changes here. So first and foremost, uh, we need to change the extension of our backup. So you can select any extension. So we just need to change the SQL to any extension that you want. Uh, so make just to make sure to make it short or three digit uh, three characters only so just make it dim on my end since I am Dennis Casciano Magna okay then default also dim okay so we need also to change our do backup function so in this portion we don't need to change this one because whatever we pass for example we're going to pass the file name with the point dim and then it will be we will replace it with SQL so that we can first create the backup okay so in this portion nothing to change and we just need to make sure that the file is not existing so we just need to delete it yeah, just in case okay so in this portion so at this stage once it pass here so meaning our we already have the SQL backup file that we is generated from this portion the batch path so we need to check if there's no error if return okay so in this section we need to create another batch file and execute it using a process so on our batch file we need to call the 7zip exe to compress the sql file that was generated by our previous batch file okay let's do it so to make it pass i already created the code so we just use the process and then we need to pass an argument which is a which means archive and then the file name that will be generated by the archive and the file that we're going to archive okay so the file name of the program that we're going to execute is the 7 zipxe which is located on the resources under the startup path of our application and then create no window so that it will not display any window at all and then window style is hidden just to make sure it's not visible from the user's end and then we need to start the process so it will just loop until the archiving is finished and then we just need to dispose the process and then we just need to check if our file was successfully generated or been archived okay so once it is done so we just need to delete the sql file and then the batch file that was generated and then it will return true if our backup is successful and false if it's not so right now we are going to test this program
now we are going to test our changes so we just need to click check and then it will create a backup under test backup folder on my desktop then the file name is 2015 10 2020 for the 5dim then just click save so for this one you can just change it to your just a backup file something like that or any any file that you want to put in here save as type then click save then let's check my folder if it's there oops the other one so as you can see we have the file with a dim extension but unfortunately we have the same type with the that can be opened in other application but this one you can open it using 7 zip file manager okay you can see we have the backup file inside so let's try to open it under uh, sub 9 so here we have the full backup of our database okay so on my next video i will show you on how to restore this backup so we will just modify our restore backup uh, function so that we can restore this type of backup thank you very much for watching if you this video helps you just make a thumbs up comment below and subscribe for more videos